So there is three different attitudes of looking at money as a foreigner that I learned today and I'm going to walk you through them and you tell me which one you are. Why is it that when a Nigerian lands into a foreign country, they can leave coming from a village somewhere in Nigeria. They don't have O levels. They can't speak good English. They don't have great etiquette. They don't, they don't have great, but in six months, they'll have more money than you and more money than a local. Why is that? Why is it that when a Chinese lands in a land within six months, they'll also make more money? Why is it that when a Zimbabwe in a land within six months, they'll have a job? Why is that? I'll give, you, I'll give you the differences and I'll tell you the cheat code. First, when a Nigerian lands in a country, there's only one thing they're thinking about. And that thing is called, how do I make money from whatever is making money? So when a Nigerian gets into a country, they're not thinking about what is legal, what is illegal. If money is moving through forex trading, they'll do forex trading. If money is moving through selling cars, through selling, through selling TVs, through selling drugs, they'll do it because that's what's making money. The only question on a Nigerian's mind is, how do I make money through whatever is making money? Now, when a Chinese lands in a land and they look at you and they look at me, there's only one thing on a Chinese mind, how do I make money? By getting it to you for cheaper. So when the Chinese sees me wearing this top, the Chinese is thinking in their minds, okay, people are spending on sweaters. How do I make money on sweaters? So how do I take this top and get it to Mumba for cheaper? That's all the Chinese is thinking about. How do I get it to you for cheaper? Okay. When a Zimbabwean lands in a place, there's only one thing in Zimbabwe. How do I get employed? How do I get a job? The Zimbabweans are the master of any job. That's why you find Zimbabweans doing any job, literally. So whether it's a whether that job is working in a restaurant, whether that job is being a waiter, whether that job is a job that doesn't get paid. A Zimbabwean just wants any job. That's the difference, but they will get a job because they only one thing on a Zimbabwean's mind, which is how do I get a job? Now, I'm in South Africa right now. What does a South African think about? The only thing a South African is thinking about is how do I get them to do it for me? It's called entitlement. You find this in Zimbabwe a lot too. In fact, you find this in most locals where a folk can come and make money without the same um, luxuries and, and tapestries that, that a local would have, a foreigner would make money. Why? Because a foreigner is working with what they have. Uh, a local is thinking about what they do not have. So a South African would be thinking what the government is supposed to do it for me. Nelson Mandela is supposed to do it for me. Jacob Zuma is supposed to do it for me. It's called entitlement. Why am I telling you this story? I'm telling you this story to make a point. That if you want to make money, it's about the attitude that you have. The reason why you have what you have is because of the attitude that you have. You can either keep and maintain the attitude... Or you can change the attitude and make money. It's really that simple. Over the next 30 days, I'm going to be telling you one day at a time how foreigners are making money in every foreign jurisdiction. You can do it. You don't have to do it. It's completely up to you. I just decided there might be somebody who needs it, and I'm going to give it to them.